breaking down Tolkien's Quenya and Sindarin languages in the Silmarillion. It's important to understand their origins. These two languages were created by J.R.R. Tolkien as part of his fictional Middle Earth. He drew inspiration from real languages and his imagination. Number 9. The Influence of Welsh and Finnish While Tolkien was a linguist and created his own languages, he also drew heavily from existing languages. Welsh, with its melodic sounds and complex conjugation system, heavily influenced Quenya. Finnish, known for its agglutinative structure and unique vowel system, played a significant role in the development of Sindarin. Number 8. The Evolution of Elven Languages In the world of Middle-earth, both elvish languages, but they have distinct differences. Quenya is considered the language of the High Elves, while Sindarin is the language of the Grey Elves. Over time, these languages evolved and changed, just as languages in the real world do. Number 7. The Significance of Vowel Sounds One of the most notable features of Quenya and Sindarin is their use of vowel sounds. In both languages, the vowels play a crucial role in meaning and pronunciation. Tolkien carefully crafted each vowel sound to have its own significance and impact on the language. Number 6. The Complex Verb System Both have complex verb systems that include various tenses, moods, and forms. These intricate systems were developed by Tolkien to reflect the sophistication and complexity of the elven culture. Mastering the verb system in these languages is no easy feat. Number 5. The Role of Word Order In many languages, word order plays a significant role in conveying meaning. Quenya and Sindarin are no exception. The placement of words in a sentence can change the meaning entirely, making it crucial to understand the rules of word order in these languages. Number 4. The Importance of Names In the Silmarillion, names hold great significance and power. Tolkien carefully chose and crafted names for his characters, places, and objects, using the sounds and meanings of the languages to enrich the story. Number 3. The Unique Writing System In addition to spoken language, Tolkien also created writing systems. The Tengwar script is used for Quenya, while the Surthas script is used for Sindarin. These writing systems add another layer of complexity and beauty to these languages. Number 2. The Mystical Origins of Quenya Quenya is considered the most beautiful and purest of the Elvish languages. This is not by accident. In the mythology of Middle-earth, Quenya was gifted to the elves by the Valar, the gods of Tolkien's world. This divine origin adds to the mystique and reverence surrounding it. Number 1. The Cultural Significance of Sindarin While Quenya is held in high esteem by the elves and their gods, Sindarin is considered the language of the common elves. It's often described as more natural and earthly, representing the connection to the land and nature that the elves hold dear. And that's a wrap. From the origins of Quenya and Sindarin to their complex verb systems and importance in the world of Middle-earth, these languages are truly a masterpiece of Tolkien's imagination. Whether you are a fan of the Silmarillion or a language enthusiast, exploring the intricacies of Quenya and Sindarin is a fascinating